Time to get to the bottom of deflate gate. Thanks for joining me here at That's Good Sports. I am Brandon Perna, and I don't care that Deflate Gate is old news. I'm still enjoying living in a world where Tom Brady is suspended for that many games. Appeal pending. I think this is the dumbest scandal in sports history and possibly human history, but to be honest, I am enjoying every second of it. I have also learned that the scariest thing in the NFL is not the long-term effects of head trauma or the extra point rule changes, but the elusive asterisk. Oh God, no. Will there be an asterisk by Tom Brady's name now? Are people really worried that future generations will look back to the football record books and see something like this? Tom Brady, pretty all right, NFL QB, won four Super Bowls. Asterisk. Frequently chose bad haircuts throughout his career and also probably cheated a little bit, maybe, we're not certain. It doesn't matter how the NFL chooses to punish Tom Brady because he has to live the rest of his life as the one and only quarterback who had trouble gripping footballs. That's like being a fireman who has trouble sliding down poles. That's like being a wino and admitting you don't even like the taste of wine. Anyway, I'm here to conduct a scientific test about how the PSI of a football is not important to superior athletes such as myself. First, I measured my hands. They are eight inches from thumb to pinky. As an NFL comparison, I have the exact same hand size as Tony Romo, his wife. The average NFL quarterback's hand size is 9.6 inches. That's 1.6 more inches for gripping power than I have on my little girl hands. Next, I tested the PSI of several regulation sized footballs with the proper PSI testing method. 12.5 PSI, 13.1 PSI, 13.8 PSI. That's the right PSI. So the PSI test proved that I have one brand new regulation inflation football, one older overinflated football, one worked in underinflated football, a really old football, and an autographed Jay Cutler football that I tried to give to charity, but they kindly declined. Let's go test these balls. Cut. I said cut! I also have all of these pictures of Tom Brady, which I definitely do not keep under my bed at night for protection. And I'm gonna throw those footballs at these pictures to show you how a man throws a football with deadly accuracy despite the PSI or the age of a football or some chilly weather. Scientific experiment number 411-B. Testing how PSI affects accuracy. I've got a target over there, Tom Brady's face on a trash can. I will be throwing the footballs from anywhere between 20 and 80 yards with deadly accuracy. Ball number two. Ball number three. Ball number four. Perfect, perfect, strike. Looks like you might need something to help wash down that chicken wing. How many pieces are we gonna be left picking up for all of football history? Who knows, too hard to count. That's how you do scientific research, kids. Deflate gate. What did we learn? Well, basically that I'm without question a better quarterback than Tom Brady. And I'd like to officially throw my hat in the ring to be the starting QB of the New England Patriots while he's suspended. 
chances are I'll probably do the exact same thing Tom Brady did to Drew Bledsoe. Steal his job, then steal his wife. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, That's Good Sports, and give me a follow on Twitter, at Brandon Perna. Red alert! Red alert! 53's the mic! 53's the mic! Kobayashi! <laughs> Mike's the mic! Mike's the mic! Hot round! 53's the mic! Mike's the mic! Fills the mic! <laughs> Huh. <laughs>